I'm gonna start to record this here. That's basically at the end of the village here. And uh, I'm gonna start to record this stuff because so as you can see this is this is the road where the cars drive through. And we're gonna measure basically one, two, three, like three meters wide with a little bit on the side. I don't know if it adds to like four meters, but in a little bit you're gonna see a track. Uh, they are preparing for the bicycles. That's basically what I was told uh, in 2002. Yeah, you're talking about 20 years ago. The case is gonna be. Let me see if you can see me. All right. Welcome to this one. Uh, this is the video already I have recorded, and I just gotta do it again <laughs> because the video. As soon as I connect one for Android to computer, became somehow unreadable. You know, there was no way to repair him beyond even using. A uh, special software that you would use other to recuperate uh, the lost data. You see, they're working on. At the end of this video, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna. <laughs> this is this maybe. This is for the cars. I don't know. Two and a half meters wide. Whatever. And in a little bit, I'm going to demonstrate you. Hey, it's much more than about a bicycle path, a bicycle route. Uh, this is about something much bigger than that. It's no less than five meters wide just for the bicycles and a few minutes ago I have spoken to my neighbor there about the chief of the police of Novo Mesto Ogulin and in this video I'm going to be talking to you about the novel mesto mayor. His name is Macedoni, Gregor Macedoni. He was involved in this case too from 95. That's what you call a trail for the bicycles. One, two, three, four and a half here maybe. One, two, three, four, four and a half, but I got frequent five. This is twelve. Uh, yeah, almost as twice as wide as what you will see, you have seen for the cars. This stuff, as I mentioned earlier, I was. Told to make a movie about already in 2002. It was from another neighbor. He's a police officer who got information. He wasn't saying that I should make a movie about this, but it was other people that did. And some of which even suggested that we'll see how much I care about the locals here and this and that. This is not the movie about the locals. This is a crime 
I will talk about that goes beyond Slovenian borders. All right, somebody's having a blast with the siren again. Alarm, whatever. In 2002, when I was brought from the US, I was shocked when the neighbor, police officer, involved since 1995, told me that a village where my father purchased a parcel and uh, half later house built there no longer will look like a village really this used to be known as a village Kurka here and it's now street Novo Mesto Street, Kirka. Back then, let me tell you, nobody even wanted to pay for the asphalt. That's that road that you see. You have no idea how many arguments, how many problems, what kind of stuff. The people from here, locals, they collected from each house. They would go and they would collect money as when we came here in this village the road was like this that what we called Makedam the mayor of the Novo Mist is a Macedonian it's more like a Macedonian but still it's kind of similar right it kind of sounds like similar and it was narrow and when we got asphalt and it was the same thing with a phone here it was like a holiday all of a sudden people that would not want to pay, that would not want to contribute. My father got this road here literally done, the asphalt to this village through the company known as Kirka Pharmaceutical where he used to not only work, but his friend, very close friend, Maybe closest friend was the founder of the company, Kirka Pharmaceutical. That was Boris Andrianic. That's how this village got asphalt. Now, when I was brought here in 2002, this place here, for me, it was unimaginable that it's such a such an iconic, beautiful village. That's a church of uh, St. Mary's Nativity right there. Would just become, you know, not, not only uh, a street, which it did in meanwhile, uh, but with all this here that you see here, I would go here, fish and stuff. Now you're talking about really 43 years ago, believe it or not, I'm half a century old now. 50. I couldn't believe that there's gonna be a houses here and stuff like this. But I couldn't believe just, I don't know, maybe a month ago when they started with this crap here, that I ever gonna see this. This used to be just a little road, a little, um, You know, just for the field, for the tractors, for the for the for the machine, for the machinery that farmers operate, so they can they can have wheat and corn and stuff like this grow. Uh, I couldn't believe I'm ever gonna see this crap here. And that's supposed this year for the bicycles. They told me in 2020 that's what's gonna be like for the bicycles and shit. Look. One, two, three, four, five. Five meters is wide. It was narrower at the beginning, four and a half. It's five meters wide here. And that's where the road ends, but not our story. This biking trail will run 
along this scenic beautiful river that I loved more than anything in the world the Kirka River beautiful you're gonna see in a little bit I'm gonna demonstrate to you first I'm gonna get dirty uh, because that's what's gonna take I think that my neighbors already took the the proper route and I did not so that's why it's gonna be a punishment a little punishment for me but uh, I'm gonna have to pay this sacrifice there's no way other than this one yeah maybe I can yeah I don't feel like getting dirty just like that <clears throat> and so for me personally this would become like a housing project here it was it sucked uh, I love city you could say I'm a city boy I did when I was a kid I had friends I had plenty friends over there in the city I had not one not two I had hundred neighbors to make problems with like uh, Tom Sawyer or something like that uh, there is a Kirk River too over there in Kandia Tertino Ashteri where I was Tashka Voda Potok and all that and so it was a perfect place for me and not too far from school and I could always do my trouble uh, it really was not bad uh, but that other half of me craved also for this for the nature here for when I would come back from the school I would go for mushrooms but above everything I would do fishing we did not move here when I was age six when my father purchased the parcel. It took quite a few years before he won. He completed one. He got a credit from a credit loan from Turkey Pharmaceutical where mom, my sister, he, everybody worked. Uh, and then he did something really, really stupid. Went ahead and sold the house in the middle of the city uh, for nothing, really, to complete the house, which is really, really not necessary. That was a really, really stupid thing he did. And so that's how he completed that house, and then we moved down here to this uh, permanently I became a neighbor eventually uh, of this local heroes here have to find a way the other day it was just like this when I had it trail yeah, you see, it's, it's it's nice. They did like this, so the people would definitely not go through. Uh, if you go through there, you're going to get dirty. And uh, you would not want to go through here, either. So we came, we moved down here to this place. And probably, <coughs> I estimate... I'm not getting through here because I'm gonna it's not it's not what we want to do uh, even this I was warned about American psychologist told me about when you're gonna be recording this stuff watch out where you go especially because uh, he literally told me this <laughs> it's just, I'm gonna tell you as it is they're gonna claim they're gonna try to get you in a shit like this so they'll be capable to say that you walk in uh, areas and torn apart your pants and uh, shoes and stuff like this which is exactly not the case that's crazy and another thing is I know how to as I stated I I, I grew up here I, I 
more than grew up here. I came from the city, but I adapted myself to the village life for most of the forest and to the river. More than the kids from the village alone that were born from the village. I'm saying this because it was people from Moscow, especially that would give me a hard time when I was drugged up, brought from the US. They would torn their pants, shoes, and uh, I started to refer to them because they, they complained about, you know, about this, you know. They complain about the dirt and stuff like this. This is, this, this is, uh, what do you expect, basically, from, from the place like this, right? I mean, that's what this is. This is village. This is not, this is not a city, you know. When you go to the city from village, you have to leave your, uh, as I say, farmer's mentality brain in the village and you come from the city you better adopt yourself to the style at the village this what you see now you can't even see but this is a crystal clear river beautiful river this is where the bikers are going to be but running through here Look, they're gonna actually, this is not good enough for the bikers, right? Man, it's plenty, plenty good enough. But no, no, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're doing an autobahn here. Uh, just as my neighbor alone realized that this is gonna be a little bit more. Everybody knows already what I'm doing because I already posted on blog about a recorded video which did not get through and this and that. It was all kinds of shit that went on. And they actually realized because I recorded one, connected one to the computer, the file was lynched. Whatever they have done to it, but they did exactly what they promised me they would do. Peter Kapsch, psychiatrist and novel master, promised me we'll have this file destroyed because it was Americans People involved anywhere from Grau, uh, from Van der Scheer, CEO, I've seen one, to some other people, so I'm gonna post uh, under this video. Uh, they told me how I'm gonna repair, so that I'm gonna, while you be recording this video, we're gonna give you a chance for you to prove that. Uh, we're going to do it in a such a way that it's going to be more than 50% of the video. You're going to be able to recover a little bit over that. And that's how it all started. You're going to be able to recover more than 50% of the video. But just a little bit over 50%. As a matter of fact, what we're going to do is, it's going to be right until the end of the village. The village that you see next, that's a Jehovah Sela, and they demonstrated me the site. Then they talked about maybe it's going to be up to the bridge. They had a variation over there. Uh, but that's a, that should have been the range. That recovery software would allow me to recuperate the video file, which was destroyed to me as soon as I connected one to the computer that that's how that's going to be done uh, but then Peter Kopp psychiatrist came to realize it's going to be something else that's going to be done uh, this is a, that's what's going to be done is he claimed The video without the sound is going to be something up to there and it's going to be video without the sound something that what i was told the case is going to be is not going to come through no matter what i would do
this is very important for me to explain. Uh, psychiatrist Peter Kapsch has a son who also loved to play with the computers with his father. He was using him and they were using a bunch of other people along the way to evaluate on this type of uh, damaging uh, cost, damage cost to file, video file, on just what exactly they have experienced uh, through the limited offer uh, of software available to public for free. And so what they would do is, if I go to Mr. Grau, that was American, who had a beautiful daughter, and this daughter was interested even in marrying me. That's just a beautiful female that dated me under MK Ultra from 2002 to 2006, something like this, 2007, something like this, when he got, she got actually married to the other guy. She got married to one guy, and then they later, I understand, even immigrated back to Germany. Grau is German. So what was this dating about? If I explain, the dating was about basically obtaining the primarily software. The, the first idea why they came uh, to help, in a parenthesis, was to obtain the software. The same shit like with the Wondershare. So the government, the Buckingham Palace, the people with the money, would use the software from developers that developed one uh, they would find a way to get them that software and transfer exclusive license to them so they could sell that software as software of their own but then what it came about was On how to retrieve the, the video, if it's destroyed video with that kind of software for free, uh, they came up with with solution with the offer to entice, to lure as many customers as possible by offering a trial version, which offered a recovery of just 50% of the file, of the damaged file, therefore, which, however, was possible to retrieve the entire file, because the only thing you would do is you would use the command prompt and you would join the two files, damaged files together, and from within, you would just subtract 50% of the file, which was offered to customers as a trial version, and there you have it that was basically the entire file you got right so when they realized that stuff they came back they find a way back in the house to get a hold of more support from software developers talking about mr grau here and they come up with a revolutionary for that time solution to this problem by disallowing people using a command prompt joining of the videos uh, by initiating software itself to detect if more videos than one were joined together and basically separate uh, stop right there so that people could not use that software anymore for free now there is a way around that too i have seen now from another guy who also was involved in it. There was uh, so many people involved in this stuff that you possibly cannot imagine. Uh, but I want to go back now to where I started at the beginning. Uh, as soon as I release myself, that's why I'm here. I wouldn't even mention to you the issue about the software in respect to this movie, this it's a little bit bizarre, I admit, but it's part of the movie. It was the idea to keep me indoors for about a week trying to repair the broken movie. Uh, now, 
during this week of repairing this movie, I recalled all kinds of other information uh, about this stuff. And I realized that rather than to pay time uh, recovering this video, I'll just go and create another video. Even though today is not exactly the best time, you're going to see on video separately I will use how much fish is under the bridge in the mornings. They hide from the birds known as cormoran. It's also part of this video. Um, let me explain to you something. This is for the people with the brain. This is not for the brain-tarded people. This is for the people that like to expand their horizons, like to expand brain, intellectuality. So, my being exposed to MK Ultra, and now you're talking about probably 1,000 different locations, which when you are drugged up, globally, you're talking about, uh, you are only given clues about people whom later on you have to identify in order to prove your case. That's the kind of a game. So I do want to puzzle you a little bit. It's a little crisscross video, however, which probably should expand your intellectual abilities a little bit, at least. And probably give me some credit in respect to the work I do. So, uh, that's exactly why I give a hint about this, I give a hint about that. Uh, but at the end of the video, as you watch, it all gonna make sense to you too. So, I am heading right now in the opposite direction of the biking trail. That's what all this stuff here, all this, all this is going to be a biking trail. The trees that you see here, I have already posted now the video about the Poland, but uh, almost something, I'm not going to use the word identical, but similar something have taken in respect to crime, place also in Poland near Bohumin. Uh, that's just a beautiful place along the Oder River, right on the Polish and Czech border. That's where I would travel in 2019, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, in 2020. To extend the stay in Poland. Therefore, I would check out uh, and then check in back in Poland, uh, get the proof uh, for Polish immigration so I wouldn't have a problem with it because we're allowed to stay, I don't know, three months or six months or whatever, months. Going through so many countries, so much, uh, you just... That, this here, this is... Um... In Poland, you probably, you're talking about, in a little bit, I'm going to demonstrate to you trees, very old trees. I don't know what kind of old, oak trees or whatever it is. Probably with the diameter, two, three, I don't know, maybe four times as, as this. Very old trees, which they cut, they, they mutilated. I'm going to use the expression mutilated, meaning that they would go, you're talking about the developer, right? Uh, somebody who became involved in this case in 95 with a bunch of other guys, a young kid, my age, whatever, maybe a few years older than myself. Uh, and I just have fallen in that uh, age group whenever I was brought to Czech Republic and to the Poland. And it would be this local kids, guys, therefore, uh, my age or a little older myself that will play with me uh, will take me out drugged up under MK Ultra uh, and we'll do all kinds of stupid stuff on Polish on Czech border 
uh, they would be meeting their future wives, yeah, of course, also girlfriends, uh, and uh, start life through that park on a Polish side of the border near Bohumin. Bohumin is on a Czech side. Bohumin is the name. I will recall the Polish name. Uh, uh, Haupki. Haupki is the name in the po is in Polish language. It's a city called Haupki, near Haupki on a Polish side, and on the Czech side it's called Bohumin. But listen to me very good. Uh, Haupki is in Polish language totally different. It's actually written like a Halupki, something like that. Uh, just look for Bohumin and you're going to see it's along the Oder River, then there's some lakes and stuff like this. Going back to the story, now you have a beautiful park, a beautiful park, a beautiful park in Poland, along the Oder River, and it's a kind of a semi-swamp, lakey area, where people with grandchildren, therefore grandparents, and already parents, uh, in Russian you say dacha, that's in Russian, uh, but in Polish you would say uh, I have to think about all this because it's so many languages, so many places, but anyhow, it's like a weekend place where you would move or you would go and take a cover from the city life. But in that case, the vacation place, I'm talking about that little housing, like little houses, little housing project, like little people would buy this so they would come on vacation like once per year from all over the Poland, from Gdansk, therefore from completely other opposite side of the Poland too. Uh, and so they would spend beautiful time there. Um, well, it used to be the locals would use that. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a little, yeah, a little, like little strip of the forest that, that runs along this river. You would walk. Uh, yeah, you're going to see the video I'm going to post. I already did. Anyhow, for those that watch this, you already have an idea about exactly. Uh, scroll down under this video and you're going to see it's already posted. It's just a three, four minutes, five minute long video. Uh, but do it if you haven't done. You can do it right now. You can stop this and scroll down, see that video, come back, or you can do it after the video, whichever way you want. So it's just you have an idea about what I'm talking about right now. And so the developer wanted to get rich. So this is a guy about my age. Numerous people became rich. But this is brutal story. The pool. Uh, we can refer to one as a community pool that did not belong to this association of vacationer, let's say, uh, became abandoned, became completely abandoned over time. Um, the government issued a prohibition, a local government issued, uh, they, 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 they closed the pool for the public. They wouldn't want public anymore to use the pool. Even the public still wanted to clean the pool and take care of the pool. They wouldn't want people to be there no more. This, you remember when I talked to you about meeting spouses, uh, already having children. Last time when I was there, there was already guys that, and girls that, that already have children. And in some cases, even grandchildren uh, that would meet me and say hello. Uh, and we had a chat. Yeah, that's how they met. They met in that car, in that park. That park became really iconic for that entire area, and also for people from Poland that would come on vacation, so they could. The, the 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 idea, the whole point was that it was community, and it was just for people from all backgrounds that could get together apart from nightlife in discos and that kind of stuff. Uh, basically in the nature, in the open, uh, next to those beautiful old trees, uh, which people would go to visit, hiking basically on a daily basis from nearby, for dear health sake, if nothing else.
meaning as far as memories and so it really really struck my attention when I saw during my visit to this Haupki, it's near Haupki, right? When I saw this beautiful old, I think oak trees, they just chopped like this, like the main branch was just like chopped. No? You would take a tree, let's say. These are wrong trees here. Uh, so let's, let's continue. And you would just chop basically branches including the top branch you know no so this one is i cannot use this in a little bit i'm going to demonstrate to you and rather than to cut the tree off you would make it so excuse me that i'm going to use this and i promise i'm not going to use this anymore for the video but so fucking ugly therefore you would mutilate the tree so that one would look so ugly that people who would come to the park, people who advocated this park, no longer would even want to come to the park. So I, you probably already guessed, I did mention the guy wanted to become rich and Donald Trump was repeatedly guessed there in Haupki. He would go to that castle in Haupki and stay there with others. Uh, you probably guessed that the idea behind doing this to all the trees in that park was not to cut the trees, but it was the same shit like the road that you have seen. They didn't come, this destruction didn't come here yet. The same idea as you see here is happening with this road. It's going to be five meter wide trail for the bicycles. Needless for me to say that in 2004, however, I was told that this, not in 2004, in 2004, absolutely everything I was told, what this is going to be like, what's going to happen, what they're going to do and this and that. Even about the parcels, they demonstrated to me which parcels are going to be for sale. I'm not going to say that. They asked me not to say this. Yeah, they already have buyers for the parcels here, for the residential parcels. You see the forest here, but I'm not going to even say about the parcels. I was already pointing out even the parcels, which they're going to be for sale and this and that, what they are trying to do. Yeah? So, a trail for the bicycles, obviously, is just an excuse for the people, for the crime, basically. To get ahead of normal people's lives and start the residential construction, basically. Buildings and so on, housing and so on. Residential housing, that's all there is, because five meters wide, the only thing that's gonna happen is those bicycles are gonna be pushed away and you're going to see cars driving through and so the same shit the same thing the idea was with the trees that were mutilated in poland where they too trees like this this kind of trees and maybe even bigger than this all the beautiful trees where the idea was to make it so ugly since people would not give in into a new development because the idea that men who wanted to become rich that who followed Donald Trump's advice and that was the advice that's our advice is the community would not give in and they wouldn't allow one to build a special housing gated community that would completely cut the rest of the world the rest of the area from from them exclusively for them keeping those lakes to them and so on you see what i'm saying so he couldn't get this permit so he did something so disgusting so that he would eventually have people residents locals beg him to start that gated 
community for elite. Yeah, you. I'm gonna post that video below in it so you can see it yourself what that looked like disgusting now and so this is basically if you compare the two situations the same thing yeah. those trees still stand but maybe one two three four five meters all the branches you see like this with the main branch chopped off and so on it's disgusting disgusting stuff and the people that watch daily, they go like pissed off. They go, they would come from Czech side of the border for biking from everywhere and you know, trail hiking. And they see that it's really, really not pleasant for the site. What can I say? And so sure enough that people will make their mind. And uh, that's how basically this is how it's done. This is under pretense. It's going to be a bicycle trail and it's going to lead eventually into a housing project. So, about the bicycle trail itself. The bicycle trail is a complete nonsense. It's a complete nonsense. On the other side of the river, there are three roads heading in the very same direction with one of the roads used as a super highway meaning that you would have i don't know is it two or three but i think it's two pass two pass in each direction highway super highway and then you have an old highway which is known as uh, dolenka that was a very bad road that road was a very very bad highway uh during yugoslavia we used to have that one and that road claimed a lot of lives doesn't matter right now till i explain this entirely and then you have the third road which is was a road that ran parallel to that highway just for the local traffic and it's needless to say that third option it's almost um without any traffic in fact once we go through here and i'm going to cross the bridge you're gonna see that the rest of this biking trail yeah we're just gonna go up to the end of this village and then it's gonna be the next village and then it all ends and that's when you're forced to go basically right across the bridge and continue on what already is a biking trail on the other side of the Kirka river so this is this this biking trail here this stuff this is just I will explain exactly what this was used, what, why, what they, what they exactly anticipated they're going to accomplish with this stuff here. So this is completely useless and even it's going to be dangerous as I'm going to explain to you in continuation. Uh, I can tell you that already here, this is for a mountain bike, completely acceptable road. When it gets dark, when it got dark, I almost got that on on several occasions in the forest, also here, by the bicycle riders that ran through and run, 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 and doesn't look uh, some other direction and doesn't see you coming and fucking runs you over with this crazy bicycle. I am not against the bicycles. I'm strictly not against it. I'm also for the safety of the of the bikers but on the other hand uh, this is going to cause also a problem additional problem for me personally and for other pedestrians hikers uh, that are using otherwise the nature is going to be mutilated anyways and that brings us to other problem because in Slovenia we have this kind of water resources we also learned to treat them like a shit we have adapted in other words the same kind of strategy uh, as united emirates have adapted a strategy in respect to oil and i'm just saying this because they have a lot of oil and we have a lot of water here uh trust me they they know how to turn money oil properly 
but the way we treat this water resources uh, is just basically not only water resources but also nature itself is in extremely um, disregarding painful for the nature way and in probably the best investment I'm sure wherever you're from you know there is no investment better than in a nature once your economy uh, gets to the certain level to the certain to the certain point uh, you should afford yourself a good you know cleaning reservoirs uh, and all kinds of amenities to to clean wastewater plants so that that rivers that that your water system would remain intact eventually if you possibly could improve one because we degraded the quality of the water especially over the course of the years tremendously yeah but that's not the case here in our case the mismanagement i am talking about right now uh, Therefore, I'm talking about foremost about financial mismanagement of the taxpayers was used in stack to prosper theft through investments into Serbia, into Russia, uh, and through those investments where different laws where mafia, where gangsters exist, you would use those people or rather to return with that money. Rather than to get a return back from investments, you would now have those people, talking about Milan Kuchan here, Borut Pahor against Slovenian politicians, you would now have those, those their friends returning back with the money stolen from Slovenian taxpayers and buying here uh, anywhere from exclusive hotels, uh, factories and so on and so on, basically purchasing us out with our own money. So I'm not going to even go into this uh, water mismanagement nature and so on, but you know, that's the type of the video somewhat related to one uh, this video is about today. If anyone wants to learn about the quality when it comes to water management, farming, uh, then I would suggest one to go to Israel. For me, uh, having Israeli people here in Slovenia, uh, in many ways, was a treat. It was a treat for me, especially because Israelis know how to treat every drop of the water. They have a wastewater facilities that turn dirty urine, urine water, human waste, actually into a drinking, into, um, into possible to consume uh, water. I am not requiring that degree of uh, you know of, of uh, processing technology whatever but if we would just follow those steps I think the, our country and foremost the people because the people are like a chickens the people uh, the people are just like a chickens man it's like a, a It's like exclusive lesson that Buckingham Palace have given to a Milan Kuchan and what Milan Kuchan told me the case is going to be and that happened in 1996 if not even in 1995 when they came and immediately offered one a class on how to hack the country. Now Milan Kuchan was a supporter of the Serbian Chetnik state, greater Chetnik state known as Yugoslavia. And he would do just absolutely anything to get us back on that picture. And so they gave him a complete detail, 
they gave him a complete class about how to get voters literally through the management he would forcefully implant inside of the companies and then through that management he would extort people on voting therefore offering them condition them with the jobs in a newly independent state known as Slovenia and then it all went on into the loans from the public banks uh, and theft of the public property company uh, companies and so on and so forth and that's how Milan Kuchan and Borut Pahor uh, you could say hacked this country they really did thanks to the Buckingham Palace which provided a complete class instructions on how to destroy it, how to destroy this country this nation right which finally have just liberated itself from the claws of this greater Chetnik state in 1991 with a very short unfortunately short war and that brings us back to this chicken shit attitude that Slovenian people have uh, rather than stand up for uh, for themselves take the ground they bend they tend to bend their heads down and just flow along just like that river right there except that that's what the river does I am going to now continue uh, through the village where I'm going to take just a few uh, maybe I don't want to get attention from locals doing this stuff too much because that's not the idea about this stuff and so we can go on then with this video so the, I think the first part I did very well I demonstrated you I explained to you more or less now more or less now you understand what this video is going to be about it's going to be so much easier for me to go on because the difficult part now really is behind me so you see this this guy here he told me the other day he was doing the work uh, he he has to hurry up clean everything prepare everything for this crazy biking trail all this is going to be gone here uh, this beautiful scenery uh, he would have horses and so on this eventually they told me in 2004 about eight years after this biking trail it's going to be it's going to be already the housing projects that are going to pop up there was a parcel right there that I passed by that supposedly would be one of the locations that they already expressed very high interest in and then there was another one you know in 2004 2004 that was ladies and gentlemen Eighteen years ago, you see there is a there is a sign right there uh, on where this all this stuff this all is going to be cut through here. Zoom. Uh, they already measure where it's going to be. You can see this numbers here and so on. So it's going to all this here. You can see right there. All that that stuff all is going to be mutilated. Now, if I go back to the mayor of the city, Gregor Macedoni, involved since 95. Eventually, he participated in this Hunger Games in Poland, sometimes in, I don't know, 98 or 99 even. I have no idea what year was it. But afterwards, he did go to complete his degree. He told me, it was actually Peter Kaps who told me this, that's a local psychiatrist involved in the case. They told me, and the local police director of the police, Novo Mesto, they claimed to me that for my case to get through, to have the support, maybe this is why they want me to record this video. As I stated, it was people that wanted me to record this stuff. I would have to support this project, not object to one. But at the same time, they have demonstrated me also the issue with the Poland. 
but at the same time I don't really care about either of the sea issues because I'm just doing my stuff I'm just doing some other stuff and that's much more important in this case because this is a case about crime how far psychiatry police state with the mayor with president of this state Slovenian state parliament have gone to prove their case you see this is Jehovah Salo here this place here this is like a little village that we're gonna cross then it's gonna be a bridge down there and that's where the biking trail special biking trail uh, is gonna end it's a public fund that's being used for this project probably even some subvention from European Union God knows where the money is gonna come from when I think about a Kirka village a long time ago, our street of Novo Mesto, Kirka now, how people used to beg from house to house for the money, to get the money next to the subvention from the mentioned company, from the Kirka Pharmaceutical, so that asphalt could be complete basically for the bare need of the people in that village and the money that's being thrown away like this so a few specially selected people could get a parcels all over the place and push this part of the world into a brink over the edge that is just uh, really really unbelievable look how beautiful scenic this place is thinking about how this is going to be all housing residential housing they said once this stuff is complete about eight years you're going to see house here house there how it done so that means probably about 20, 30 years down the road, this is going to be all cemented. God knows what this is going to look like. But that's how it all starts. So that, if we go back to this mayor, Gregor Macedoni, so that this is going to be a condition. He alone told me that he had to agree to the people from Ljubljana. Uh, talking about the Milan Kuchan, he explained to me, Borat Pahor, all those issues on how he's going to have to agree with though he had to agree that he's going to have to agree to this and this is going to be my little contribution not to protest because it's going to be impossible otherwise for him to help me out in a parenthesis 